It's a real mixed bag. Um, uh, one of the ones that uh, strands of programming that I'm very excited about is our Right Race and Rock and Roll um, strand. And on the eve of an election, it's particularly pertinent that um, we've got a whole kind of series of screenings and panel discussions looking at the, the power of um, culture to kind of bring about political change. So it's, it's quite a relevant one. Uh, we've got a roundtable discussion on the Monday night. That's hosted by Mark Steele and with Fergal Sharkey and Jerry Dammers of the Specials and Tom Robinson, various other contributors, basically kind of looking back to a time uh, which is kind of a parallel to now when Rock Against Racism happens in Victoria Park yep. um, and 100,000 people turned up and watched The Clash and various other bands. Um, so along alongside that we've got a screening of Who Shot the Sheriff uh, it's world premiere re-edit with lots of footage of the, the live bands and uh, people mar marching through the streets and protesting against the BMP and so on. So that's a really exciting programme of events. We've got Grits and Gravy Sunday What's which that? is all deep southern film um, from yeah deep, deep south, south America. What, what, yeah. Oh I thought you were going to say like sort of somewhere over the river no. Millwall uh, no no <laughs> <laughs> No, no, the deep no, south, no, no, strictly south. banned. Charlton, or yeah. Something. <laughs> no, it's um, it's all yeah, it's all films. From, it's the first time actually that we've done an American program, um, but it really fits with our new filmmakers centre that we've got this year. And so we've got a hog roast, free bloody Marys, and a kind of day of watching films out in the sun. Sounds splendid. Um, yeah, we've got outdoor screening. We've got um, you better pray for weather, girl. Uh, yes. 21 degrees. <laughs> oh, no. It's looking good at the moment, it is, so yeah. I'm not no, too it's concerned. All so yeah, that's um. Uh, the Lodger, uh, 1927 early uh, Alfred Hitchcock silent film with live music. Uh, we've got all sorts of kind of add-on of, um, events at Spitalfields Market. Actually, we've got um, two art installations, an exhibition, and a give and take, which is what's the a kind give of, and take? It's the new craze. Is Apparently it? Apparently, every, no, everyone's well, doing, doing it. it. Yeah. Basically, you come along with your. It's, it's three days. First day's film. The second day's art, and the third day's freestyle. And you bring along your unwanted memorabilia and records and DVDs and your books and your cards. I ain't getting whatever. my books and records. I'm sorry. <laughs> And you swap them for stuff that you want, and you know that, you know what might be your rubbish is to some someone else gold. So yeah, that's uh, that's one of our kind of add-on events. So I was going to say year. it really has gone just beyond the film festival, yes, hasn't it? it in has. that sense, yeah, really. it's. I mean, it's it's still a film festival. It's very film focused, but yeah, it's becoming more and more. We're going to use that again, cross, cross media, discipline. cross platform, kind of yeah. <laughs> No, it was discipline last time. I quite like that. Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is, it is evolving into quite an arts an arts festival in so much as you, you can't kind of hold the tide of it in East London because it's so full of filmmakers, artists, writers, musicians, and you know I want them all to be involved. So tonight, when you got the showing of, of the Rhyme of the Modern Mariner, are you going to get any of the old Dockers families along or anything? Yeah, well, that's the nicest thing about it actually is that the, we've kind of reserved the front row for. Um, th there's a place called the Stepney Dockers Club down on Ballcott Street and when we first started researching this film we put ads in all the local papers that you know did you sail from London did you work the docks and lots of sort of shysters came forward you know people like 29 years old saying oh yeah I was a waterman yeah. I was like yeah you, you weren't I'm, 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 I'm older than you um, and then I, I sort of someone tipped me off about the, the Stepney Dockers Club and I walked in and kind of you know wallpaper peeling off the walls and the ceiling literally falling in and there was sort of 15, 16 pensioners huddled around a pot of tea and then I mean without exaggeration or embellishment I, I didn't leave for four hours and the stories are just extraordinary and they're, they're, they're the guests of honour tonight and I'm really really thrilled they're all coming and they're, yeah. they're, they're quite made up about it and is there tickets available for that one do we know? Uh, that one's sold out you see typical come yeah. on here with your juicy tickets <laughs> <laughs> that was all that. Having said that, it's definitely worthwhile people getting in touch near the time of the screening because there might be some returns. But um, where can people get all the information that. and see all the okay, programs so and all that kind of thing? It's all online, which is eastendfilmfestival.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and the whole program is there that you can kind of flick through and book tickets um, directly for the events online or directly via the cinemas for the actual screenings. And the Rhyme of the Modern Mariner is on tonight at 7.30. Is it of St. What is it against St. St. Anne's? St. Anne's, Anne's Limehouse. Yeah. Which is a beautiful church. You're it's gorgeous. Right. absolutely beautiful. Have a fantastic festival. Thank you. Very very nice. Nice and thanks very, Thank very much you. for coming in. Cheers.